American Horror Story Season 10 is back in production after a brief hiatus, and the pieces are finally starting to come together. Not only do we have updates regarding the state of production and more character information, we also have a brand new cast member that has been added to the season. So let's start with the best news first, but before I do that, this video was made with the support of my channel members. Thank you so much for your support, and if you would also like to become a member, you can for as low as 99 cents a month, and you will receive early access to every video and exclusive uploads every month. But anyway, the big news of the day is that Frances Conroy has officially joined the cast of Season 10. This news was confirmed by Ryan Murphy, who commented on an Instagram fan account saying, quote, I can confirm that our beloved Franny is indeed in this season. This comes directly after fans noticed one of the confirmed directors for an episode of season 10 expressed excitement in working with Frances in her own Instagram comment that was later deleted. Season 10 will be the eighth season to feature a Frances Conroy role, and it is worth noting that we do not yet know if she is a main cast member, recurring, or a guest star. Despite being a staple of the show, Frances Conroy was only a main cast member in Coven and Freak Show. Her roles in Murder House and Asylum were recurring, and she then had guest roles in Roanoke, Cult, and Apocalypse. As I discussed in my last video, once rumors swirled that Kathy Bates may have pulled out of season 10, many hoped for Frances to be taking over the role that was intended for Kathy. But the rumor of Kathy's departure has yet to be proven true or false, so there is no way to tell if this is why Frances was brought on. But everything I discuss regarding Kathy Bates is completely speculation, but if she cannot film season 10, then there could be a decent chance that Frances Conroy is getting a main role because of this. I am a huge Frances Conroy fan. Like so many of the actresses on this show, she brings so much to each season that she takes part in. So even if it is just another guest role, I am very glad that we get to see her on the show again. One of the first things that Ryan did say about season 10 was that he intended on bringing a lot of the core cast members back together. It's hard to determine which actors are exactly core actors, since not one season's cast is the same. But if you think about the actors that are phenomenal in many roles throughout the series, I think the ones that come to mind are people like Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters, Lily Rabe, Jessica Lange, Angela Bassett, Dennis O'Hare, Kathy Bates, and of course, Frances Conroy. I think give or take, these actors are the core of AHS, and so far AHS 10 has already cast, whether it is still the case or not, five out of the eight that I just named. I would absolutely love for them to bring in some more AHS legends like Angela or Dennis to this season, but I think just like every season, some of the legends will inevitably be missing. Jessica is probably never going to return in a new role. I think we got very lucky in season 8, and that was her send-off from the series. I think it is criminal that the show has not cast Dennis O'Hare since season 6. With that being said, I don't think AHS is dependent on any one actor, as I think 1984 proved with some really great new additions to the cast and a season functioning well without Sarah or Evan present. In case you've been out of the loop, last year it was revealed that an AHS spinoff would be heading to FX on Hulu called American Horror Stories, and we now know that it will consist of 16 anthological episodes featuring some members of the AHS cast. Cody Fern and Dylan McDermott are attached so far in acting roles, and Sarah Paulson is set to direct an episode, and just this last month it seems that the show has begun the casting process. This can only mean that filming is not far away, and a casting call online reads as follows. In partnership with FX on Hulu, Ryan Murphy is unveiling a new horror series that will tell short tales in lieu of a season-long arc. American Horror Stories will comprise of 16 standalone episodes that span a range of topics from creepy and dystopian to murderous and ghostly featuring talent seen in the original anthology. The casting call went on to note that no shooting dates or locations have been announced. Now back to season 10 news. In my last video, I reported to you that 20th Century Television, 
applied for permits to film season 10 in Provincetown, Massachusetts from February to March 2021. So for those of you who aren't caught up, principal production is taking place in Los Angeles, while later on in the shoot, certain cast members will shoot on location scenes in Provincetown, Massachusetts. At least that is the plan. But the February to March schedule is no longer happening as a town official has revealed that there has been no signed location agreement. He stated, there is nothing in place at the moment other than some very general conversations. The original plan was for a 100-person cast and crew to be in the town from January 25th, 2021 to March 13th. It seems that the AHS production does not yet have a set plan or schedule for the Provincetown shoot just yet, and the Provincetown tourism director says the holdup is likely due to casting and availability. With American Crime Story filming again, perhaps the availability of Sarah Paulson is the issue. Some of Season 10's cast members have spilled some information about their characters, shedding some more light on the mysterious season as a whole. Let's start with Angelica Ross. Firstly, she gave an interviewer some insight on what fan theories are off base. She confirmed the season has something to do with sharp teeth, but also said that the season will not be about vampires. We are filming right now, and... Um... What I can tell you is that it definitely involves something surrounding sharp teeth. Um, yes. But I will say that I think that people are very far off who are thinking that this has to do with like vampires. Um, what what else have I seen? I've seen some interesting, our American Horror Story fans, like they will print something like it's fact and they'll be so far off. Like one thing I can tell them for sure. Well, no, I shouldn't say that because I don't know that for sure. But I'll just say that the season has nothing to do with what anyone thinks it has to do with right now. Like all of the theories that I've seen out there, you're all wrong. <laughs> Interesting. In that same interview, Angelica gave us some clarity about the unclarity of season 10's release. She says they have not pinned down a release date and will not until they can know the work will be completed. This makes sense as the filming of the season in particular has been pushed back so incredibly much. They see no reason uh, to make a deadline as the important thing that I hope they are focusing on is getting it done safely and not quickly. One last piece of information that Angelica Ross has given fans recently regards her character in season 10, more specifically, which characters she interacts with. She began to list cast members she had scenes with, with people such as Sarah Paulson, Leslie Grossman, Evan Peters, and Billy Lord, before simply saying she has scenes with the whole cast. Then she says that the story is written in a way where her character gets to engage with every cast member. I think it is interesting the way she phrases that. The way it is written allows her to interact with everybody. I mean, when you think about it, this is kind of a weird thing to say because as a main cast member, you are likely to have scenes with the entire cast. I mean, Angelica was a main in 1984 and had scenes with every other main character at some point. So it isn't unique to this season, unless this is only unique for her character this season in particular. Maybe not many of the main cast members interact with many of the others. Remember, a while ago, Sarah Paulson stated that the season was going to be broken up in a way that has never happened before. This is obviously a vague thing to try and speculate about, but maybe each episode deals with one character or a few interrelated characters' stories. And then elsewhere, either in time or place, the other cast members have their own stories. If a story structure like this is implemented, then Angelica Ross has implied that her character will be breaking the barrier between the separate stories. That's as far as I'll go into theorizing in this video, so let's move on to some new details that Sarah Paulson revealed about her character. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Sarah stated, The character I'm playing this year on Horror Story has some issues. Let's just put it that way. I have a hair color that I've never had in life, nor on the show, 
and I have a great name. I have a great name, which I can't tell you, end quote. I'm excited to see what hair color they went for for this character. I'm also just excited to get a new Sarah Paulson character in AHS at all, because if you think about it, the last new character we had from her was Venable back in 2018, and Venable wasn't even the main Sarah character in that season, so it feels like even longer. I know you probably can't talk about it much at all, but what is something that you might get to do in American Horror Story season 10 that you've never had the chance to do on that show before? Gosh, I can say that the person I'm playing on this on this season is is nothing like anyone I've played on the show before. And I am having such a wonderful time with her and and uh with my fellow actors and um, I love this season. I love this season. I, I, I think new fans of the show will love this season, but I really, the, the longtime fans of the show, I just can't wait to share this season with them. Um, yeah, there's something, there's something about it. It's really, I, there's, I wish I could say more, but I, I really love, I wish I, yeah, I, I just, well, those are all of the updates that I have for you today. Make sure you subscribe for more AHS coverage. Give this video a like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time.